If you've never played the Castlevania games on the Nintendo 64, let me summarize them in about 30 seconds. There are two games for the platform, Castlevania 64, which came out January of 1999, and Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, which was a director's cut of that game, released December of that same year. Now, most people consider Legacy of Darkness to be the better game, but it does take some steps back. The big complaint is that there's only one playable character at the start, the werewolf. And to unlock the Belmont-style character and the Maria-style character, you have to complete the game. Twice. But something amazing has just been discovered. 25 years after these games first came out, we have found a brand new Konami code. This Konami code unlocks all of the characters and their alternate costumes from the start, turning Legacy of Darkness into the definitive way to play Castlevania on the N64. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and load up this file. You'll see that I can only select Cornell for now. So now I'm gonna go back to the title screen and I'm gonna input this modified version of the classic Konami code. You can see the inputs on the left. I'll also have the inputs typed out in the description. All of the characters are now unlocked, including their alternate costumes. This code also unlocks hard mode. All you have to do is start a file with any character, get to the save point, quit and reload, and now, when you select New Game, you'll see Hard Mode available as a difficulty option. And if all that wasn't enough, there are three more brand new codes. The first one, which I'm gonna show off here, allows any playable character to get essentially a full inventory on command. The other two codes, for whatever reason, only work on the PAL and JPN versions of Legacy of Darkness. The first one will give you 99 jewels, and the second one will max out your weapon and sub-weapon power. Like before, I'll have all these codes in the video description. Our best guess for why these codes are in the game is that they were originally added for testing and debug purposes and weren't removed by the time the game was released. Kind of like the Symphony of the Night bridge break technique that's also a leftover debug code and was also a relatively recent discovery. I'd like to wrap up this video by giving a shout out to the two people who made all of this magic happen. Moises from the Castlevania 64 Discord is the one who dug through the game's code and found all of these crazy debug combinations. Liquid Cat, who's the developer of the CV64 Randomizer, also put in a lot of work, and was actually the one who figured out what the Konami code does. This is going to be a big year for Legacy of Darkness, and I highly recommend everyone give this game a try. If you haven't played the game before, it's never been more accessible and more fun. If you have played the game before, now's a great chance to revisit with a new, easily unlockable playable character, and some really entertaining cheat codes. I hope you all found this interesting, and thank you very much for watching.